Sean Sewell with ingearment.com coming to you from our office inside our gym, Existence Athletics. I don't shoot videos in the office because one, the lighting's pretty awful, two, the background's very boring, and three, it just doesn't fit with most of the reviews we do. Usually we're doing outdoor gear reviews or technology reviews, but in this case we're reviewing a desk light and it, it stands out so much that I wanted to shoot it in the environment which I use it in and it might relate to how you would be using it. Um, and that is the Loom Cube Light Edge 2.0, this guy right here. Uh, I currently have them off so I can demonstrate um, in a moment here the ways to use the light, the lighting, power and um, the functionality of this. It's actually my favorite desk lamp, which is why I'm shooting a video on it. So let's get into it. So first off, we'll start with the office lighting. Above us is four really crappy commercial fluorescent lights. You know the kind, doctor's office, commercial buildings. It's are atrocious. They're artificial. Um, I despise them. Natural lighting obviously is my first choice when shooting videos. Not always under our control though. So we're inside sometimes and when we're doing our YouTube videos, we're inside a pretty controlled studio-like environment, meaning I have some good lights going on. I have three good lights and the camera's already set up. And so it's just a very pre-produced kind of setup, right? But not everybody has access to it. So I'm shooting this video with something that most people have access to, which is crappy overhead lights um, and a desk. This is this is literally my desk where I do a lot of work and edit videos. Got my widescreen monitor here. Um, I'll have a review on this. This one's surprisingly good. It's under $300. And then my MacBook Pro. So this is uh, my legit setup. And the Loom Cube Edge Light 2.0 is the ideal accessory for a desk setup, whether or not you're using a computer or not. It's just nice to have a desk lamp. There's a lot of cheaper options out there. This guy is about 160 bucks. This is the base unit, not the entry level. This is the one with a base. Uh, there is a unit that costs a little bit less that clamps onto a desk. You can clamp it on to the front of a desk or, or a kitchen table or a butcher's block or whatever you have access to, uh, or in your shop, perhaps onto uh, you know, your tool bench. All right. Enough talking about the background. Let's show you how this thing works. This is really, really cool. So Loom Cube knows what they're doing with lighting. Like I mentioned, I've used a lot of their, their lighting solution products, and this is my favorite so far. It's a very simple design. There's a base right here. There's an on-off button. There's a switch to switch between um, brightness, up and down, and then color temperature. Yes, you can adjust the color temperature, and the coloring is pretty dang accurate for a desk lamp, and it just looks nice. So here it is, it is on. This is at 2700 kelvins. This is the starting point, uh, meaning this is the lowest temperature you can get to, which is a very warm temperature, very soothing. I would use this um, for romantic settings, but also um, towards the end of the night or end of the day, when I'm working, I will, try and lower my blue light and go more to warm light. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is at 2700 Kelvin. Right in the middle is 5400. And that's a nice sweet spot for kind of matching the inside lighting we have here. And then we can get really crazy up to 7500 Kelvin. And that's like very artificial and almost purple bluish. And I'm gonna bring it back down to the middle road, 5400, and I'm gonna push the switch button, and you can see we have it currently um, at a low setting, 1%. And I'm gonna raise it up. There's about 50%, and then there is 100%. Now, blinding you with that light doesn't do you a whole lot of good. Let's put it to work right here. So this is more light than I need for the area, so I'm gonna lower it down to 50% is right here, still more light than I feel like I need for this desk setup. So I'm gonna lower it down, yeah, right there. Probably about 10% is where I have it. And that's just to keep the glare off of the screen right here as I'm editing and replying to emails, because the light's coming off here, creating a little bit of shadows and pretty unpleasantness. Um, oh, back to you, you can see how bright it is, okay? Now what's cool about the, the arm on this is you can adjust it all kinds of ways, right? Like you can really, really dial in how you want this light to work. Now, rotating it towards me opens up a new way you can use a desk light. Say you're presenting, you're doing a Zoom or a Teams meeting, what have you, and your webcam's right here. The One of my things I've learned, especially through COVID, 
is you can make a webcam look pretty decent. Um, and how you do that with, with light. The more light, more or less, the more light you have, the easier the camera is going to work. It's the small sensor. Like this is a full frame camera I'm shooting on, so it obviously lets in a lot of light. Webcams are pretty crappy. <laughs> Even the good ones are still years, years behind cameras that we use to shoot videos for YouTube. But how you can make the webcam, whether a stock one on your laptop or, you know, a Logitech or what have you, is just simply getting some light. So I can put the light on me, the camera's right here, and as you can see, I'm pretty well lit now. And that's at a low setting. I mean, I can get really ridiculously bright, right? Like nighttime news bright. That's good right there, I think, for me. Now, in a perfect world, I would have two of these lights, and it would serve two functions. One, I could have a light right here, another light over here, just off of the webcam and the monitors right here. That people don't see the lights, even if they do, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it would be really good for lighting my face as I present it, whether it's a meeting or working with a patient or a client or just recording videos for your own coursework. Another way you can use this light is if you are a teacher or you're presenting and you need an overhead light to illuminate something so you can do with your hands, like you're reviewing a knife or you're showing somebody how to, how to weave or some task or some trade, having light right here, not just light this way, can be really, really helpful so people can see what it is you're working on. I know it wasn't very good at good job showing you because there's a big monitor in the way, but you know, having light on your hands or your desk area to work is fantastic. Again, if you had two of these, you could put them on the edge of your table. Like in my case, what I would do in an ideal situation is have the base unit, again, the one with the base, and then one with the clamp, put it over here. So I have a lot of desk space open. And then I can go and work on my split board or whatever project, work on some Legos or something, something fun for the, for the nieces, and have a nice amount of light. I love the ability that you can adjust the light temperature according to what you need. It's so like I said, during daytime, I'd have it on the higher end of the spectrum, uh, more of a white or even blue light. And then towards the evening, when I'm trying to wind down, but I need, still need to crank out some work, then I would warm things up. I'd go down to a lower uh, value temperature, 2700, 3000, something like that. And uh, again, I'll just show you. Do, 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 do. Something like that. Nice and warm. And uh, hopefully seeing how easy this thing is to use and how stable it is and how attractive it is at, at our literal desk. Like this isn't a prop, this is, this is where we get some work done. And this is the tools we use to do it. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll put a link below if you wanna pick one up. That will be an affiliate link, of course. And that is how you can support our channel. This is a zero cost way to you, as Andrew Hooman always says, zero cost way to support our channel. Um, I appreciate it. It helps us get the camera equipment, the audio, and take the time and resources to test the products out, show you how they work, and hopefully you found the videos helpful. If you do, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you wanna see more content on lighting and microphones and camera equipment, as well as, you know, a lot of outdoor and fitness gear, then consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel. A link right there. Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engagement. Until next time, take care.